Hello students, welcome to the first PUC online classes of Gopal Swami Independent PU College, Mysore. I am Suma, Economics Lecturer. In our previous session, we started the lesson of Introduction to Statistics for Economics under Part A. So, in continuation with that lesson, let us discuss few more topics related to the same lesson. So, you all have learned that there are four major economic activities, the production, consumption, distribution as well as exchange. So, we have the alternative, you all know that we have unlimited wants, the unlimited wants of the human beings, unlimited wants should be satisfied with limited resources. To satisfy the endless wants we have only limited resources so therefore and the only one thing here we have is that the resources have alternative uses so all these resources which have alternative uses give us the problem of choice so how to choose the goods this is the major problem of an economy so how to choose the problem of choice has arised because of the availability of the alternate uses of the same resources therefore it is decided by the need of the hour so what is there what is the need of that present time and availability of the goods when you go for a pub a market for buying a particular product and if that particular product is not available then you think of alternative products which give you the same utility and as well as we also think about the availability of the means if and if only my pocket permits me then only I think of buying those commodities if my means are scarce then I am not going to satisfy those ends Nanali Hanada Korte Dare Nanana Yeshto Agate Galana Mundur Tene Atwana Nogalana Pura is Kolo de Illa Andre Namali Yavaga Aike Samasia Untagate and Taheladre Namali Ada the Korte Daga Atwa Namali Beka the Padarta and the Kolo the Ke Beka the Stada and Analil de Daganano Yavo Undu Padarta Galu Nana Ada Eke Takante Labedio Adderly Nano Aike Mark Kolbeka than Tani Variate Untagate Hagaginano Aike Samasia Nanu, Yedris Bekadre, others to the Tielinano, Anavan Nundu, Hanavanu Kudit Konde, Hogir Beku, Marketego Hogbekadre, Nama, Vondo Andajke Takahage, Padartago, Sigutawe, no Yaude, Vundu, Nikaratenu, Iro, the Ladr in the Vonduele Padarta, the Bele Hitchu, Bele Hitchu, Tuakadime Agbudu, Adi Eredanu, Yedris of the Kebekad Hagen, Namali, Ada, the Shakti and Nau, Adika Madikondir Beku. So this shows you that if the availability of means are very good then we think about the availability of the goods also and even if the goods are available at a higher rate with some additional sophistications then if my means are well if the condition of my pocket is good then I will go for alternate goods also with higher costs and therefore again at that time we think about the need of the hour why is that product required to me why should I buy it what is the need of it if it's it, if it is really needed then I will buy otherwise I will go for saving the same money so all these chances are there for this purpose only we have the word popularly used in economics called as scarcity you all know Lionel Robbins give you the word scarcity and he introduced the scarcity definition because you can see if there is no scarcity in this economy then there would not be any kind of economic problem only we can get an example for the scarcity in front of the railway station in front of the theaters in front of the bus stand or in front of any of the hotels everywhere you find the people standing in a queue if you go to grocery stores also there is a huge rush there 
there is heavy crowd because there is a scarcity of the goods and therefore only people have gone to all those places and if that bus for example if the capacity of a bus is only 50 persons and outside that bus there will be 80 persons waiting for the availability of the ticket to enter into that bus so for 30 persons there is a scarcity either we should increase the number of buses or to satisfy this demand so there is always a inequilibrium situation in terms of both demand as well as supply yavaga namge beedike ide adakke takkage pooraike illa andre alli korate untagutte aa koratena pooraisbeku antandre naavu beedikeyanna taggiskolbeku illa pooraikeyanna hechiskolbeku so this scarcity is the major problem that leads towards all economic problems as the word of this part a says you that introduction to statistics for economics in this session let us understand about what is statistics how is it an making an integral part of economics what are the uses of statistics to economics you all know that economical data and facts are presented in a statistical way so that it is comprehensive and precise which helps even the ordinary layman also to understand this statistical figures that you see in television in newspapers in, in, in all kinds of mass medias that they are depicted with the help of diagrams pictures and also with different types of let us see about how about the origin of this word statistics it has derived from the word statista of latin which means the political state so the statistics is a very important part and you cannot imagine economics without statistics so ronald a fisher is the father of statistics statistics seems to have been originated soon after the man started counting comparing and adding value to the goods has developed because that man only has started keeping the records why do we keep the records we keep it for future comparison as well as analysis based on those comparison last year so and so money is invested for this sector and this year how much money is to be invested after investing so and so money to that particular sector how much income is generated so how much will be useful if we invest so and so amount what is the use of investing so and so amount so based on those comparison we come to a conclusion as to the investment of this particular year so soon after the man learnt about counting and keeping the records the statistics seem to have been introduced statistics anna now kannada dalli sankhya shastra anta karitivi sankhya shastra matte artha shastra eradu ondakkondu atyanta pramukhavada Today, the application of statistics is in every sector. If you go to a hospital, you can find the statistics of that person's, a particular person's health is given to you in the form of a report. You go to any educational institution, you get the statistics of the children, whether how many males are there and how many females are there, how many first class students are there, how many distinction scoring students are there and how many many students are there in the area of failure so all these are taken in terms of statistics only and if you open up the newspaper on every day you can see different kinds of statistics are available related to related to different factors maybe it is political economical agricultural industrial social everywhere statistical informations are given to the public and if you go to any of the government offices maybe it is taluk panchayat or gram panchayat or district panchayat jilla panchayat everywhere you find the diagrams the data of the updates are given in the form of diagrams on the walls maybe it is bar diagram or pie diagram or uh, the achievement of the governments are given in statistics and in major cities or in major circles you can see the holdings of the achievements of the government in terms of statistics are given so statistics help the ordinary person also to take decisions related 
to the happenings in the society so statistics is of major help in both political decision making as well as general decision making so let us see about the definitions of statistics statistics has been given two types of de definitions the first one is in singular sense as well as the second one is in the plural sense in singular sense Bowley said in singular sense statistics is defined by Bowley as science of science of counting so according to Bowley an English statistician statistics is nothing but the science of counting when you come to the plural sense you can see the definition of Horace Sechrist an American statistician has expressed the definition of statistics in plural sense as it is the numerical facts that are systematically arranged so so with this you can understand statistics is the science of collection presentation analysis and interpretation of the numerical data it is a collection of data through different sources maybe it is a primary source or a secondary source and presentation of the data in a chronological form or maybe in the uh, quantitative form or qualitative form or geographical form and analysis of it so it is the analysis is made based on the previous performances and interpretation that is presentation of the numerical data may be in the form of a tabulation or may be in the form of a diagram pie diagram or bar diagram or anyway so or anything so all these involve in statistics so it is the science of collection of data presentation of the numerical data and analysis of the same data and interpretation of the numerical data that is collected so say statistics is is a very important branch of knowledge and that is required very much in these days and therefore only statistics is there in every field statistics is presented in both the ways let us discuss about different characters of the statistics statistics is expressed in both qualitative ways and quantitative ways it furnishes the data with quantitative information as well as the qualitative information as i said the statistics involves both qualitative and quantitative information you can see that in this sentence that is 100 unskilled men were sent for training so here the word 100 says you the quantity and they are unskilled men the quality of the people who are sent for training they are unskilled their quality is shown here and they are men not women so their category is also here so therefore statistics gives you the information in a precise way in one sentence lots of meanings are hidden and lots of information is transferred so the first and foremost characteristic of the statistics is that it is furnished in both quantitative and qualitative ways so it is also given it also gives the results of the economical facts in a precise way which is easily understandable by everyone the statistical results are expressed both numerically as well as graphically as I said there are different types of graphs can be used to present the statistical data say one one dimensional bar diagram or multiple dimensional bar diagrams or even the pi diagrams these are all the different types of diagrams that are used to present the statistical data the, the statistics is an indispensable tool to understand the economical data. So, because all these economical data are made easy with this statistical presentation and they become exact, the vague statements become, become accurate statements with the addition of statistical data in it. So, any statement may be a vague statement and it becomes a meaningful one if it is added with the statistical 
statistical information so the vague statements are not trusted where in the statistical information with the numerical facts and the figures the statistical information informations are most reliable and are trustworthy the next feature of the statistics is that it summarizes the data so it it summarizes the mass of the data and it concises it condenses the data into a prescribed manner and everything is presented in a precise way statistics helps in the forecasting of the future happenings as well as it helps in framing the economic policies so for the formulation of the economic policies the government and other sectors are highly dependent on the statistical information based on the comparison and analysis made on them Stat statistics helps us to solve different types of problems and as as well also it helps us to know about the demand for a product for example india imports oil from the gulf countries so if we don't know the demand for the oil through the statistical observations then we don't know how to how much to play then we will not come to a conclusion to place the order for the oil for this particular month or for, for this particular year so if we know the demand because of, based on the statistical assumptions based on the statistical data then it is difficult for us to know about the demand for this particular year so for all these statistics is very very important and statistics helps us greatly in terms of decision making if we don't know the demand for a product because it is a vital information that is obtained only through statistical data only so if we don't don't know the demand for a product we may place higher orders or we may place under orders so the order may be lessen so that we may find at the end of the year we may find a shortage you cannot place the order at the at that stage so in advance only we should have placed the order for the oil to the other countries so it helps in the decision making related to the imports as well as exports today's thought for the day is peace cannot come from outside the peace of our mind is the combination of our thoughts and actions so you cannot buy peace from outside it is not available anywhere it is within so you have to find out how to attain peace within ourselves only so that we can expect it from outside so learn to have peace within yourself by observing your thoughts and deeds so with this i conclude this session thank you